हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सी शार्प प्रोग्रामिंग प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड लर्निंग कोर्स इन दिस कोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिज़ाइन रिकॉर्ड्स मैनेजमेंट एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग सी शार्प प्रोग्रामिंग एंड माई एस क्यू एल डेटा बेस प्रोग्रामिंग फ्राम दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टार्ट डिजाइनिंग द लॉग इन फॉर्म फॉर आवर एप्लीकेशन दिस इज द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ आवर कोर्स एंड द एंड इन दिस लेक्चर I will present a demo of the login form in real time. This demo will increase your interest in real world programming. So now opening the application in the Microsoft Visual Studio 2015 environment and then clicking on the start button to run the application that we have already designed and I will show you a demo of this application. And so this form in the green and white in green color showing in front of you is the login form of our application it is just like a simple login form it is just a simple login form and it is similar to any other login forms so this is the login form of our records management application and it consists of two basic things one is the login button here you can login to your account to the staff account using your user id which will be the same uh, your national id card national identification number and also entering your password the that you have entered that you have entered at the time of registration and next and then clicking on the login button a main form uh, will be opened which will contain all the details of uh, of your account and also some other uh, buttons in which uh, through which you can open other pages of this application the next thing or the next part of this login form or the next content of this uh, this login form is the sign up button if you have not registered in this application then you can see re registered in this application by clicking the sign up form and then filling all the details now going towards the uh, now up, uh, on clicking the sign up form the staff registration account form will be opened look at this and this is the polling staff registration form and here you can enter the personal information also some other general information and also um, the correct information will be entered and i will uh, show you that how it does this uh, in the upcoming lectures when we are going to design the staff registration form so now clicking on the back to open the login form again now i will give you a demo of how to login to your account so now entering your details entering your user id for example i uh, enter an id which is not registered and then entering the password then entering the password and login so if you are not registered or you have entered an incorrect username or password then it will show you a message and will allow you to try again so now trying again with the correct credentials correct user id and correct password and then pressing the clicking on the login button so it is also so then entering and correcting it and then clicking on the login button and this is the main page of our login form also is i have entered these credentials and it allowed me to log in and when i entered the wrong information wrong staff id and also the wrong password or either the wrong password then it does not allowed me to um, to log in this is all because because i have already designed my sql database so by entering the correct information like the user id entering the correct user id and then entering the correct uh, correct password for that user id you can log in successfully as i have logged in in front of you 
also so now logging out and again the login form will be opened so this is all about the login form so in the next lecture we will design we will learn how to design such a pretty such a good looking login form using window forms of the microsoft visual studio and using the visual c sharp programming and my sql database programming so hopefully you would have enjoyed the demo and surely will be packed up for the design and code process so in the next lecture we will start designing the login form so to jump into the coding and design process subscribe my channel which is programming projects school and stay tuned also you can like our facebook page and can visit our blog for much more programming stuff also you can become member of our facebook group and all the links are given in the description so thank you for watching and wait for the next lecture until then happy coding